Let's face it, we all wanted to live in Los Angeles at some point in our lives. But what if I told you the city of your dreams is no longer what it used to be and has now become a nightmare to live in? Home to breathtaking views, surplus diversity, fabulous beaches, mountains, and expansive deserts, Los Angeles is one of the most diverse and desirable places to live in the USA. Even though not many people know it, the city was founded in 1781. Since then, it has won the hearts of many, with most of us wishing to experience its beauty and luxury, especially as it is the home of most of our favorite celebrities. With 1,299 square kilometers, one would think the city can indeed accommodate everyone who wants to stay. However, recent history has already shown that this may not be the case, as the city seems to be facing a rapidly increasing housing problem. So, what has caused this massive homelessness and just how serious is this problem? Join us as we tell you all about the rise and fall of the City of Angels. Over the years, Los Angeles has established itself as one of the best places to live in the USA. This is not just because of the city's fantastic scenery and access to fundamental basic amenities, but rather due to its reputation as the City of Dreams. See, Los Angeles is the second largest metropolitan region in the United States. It comprises five counties, Los Angeles, Orange County, San Bernardino, Riverside, and Ventura. Among all the counties, Los Angeles City houses about 3.8 million residents, which is about 20% of the entire population of Los Angeles County. It's home to fabulous restaurants and plenty of outdoor recreational opportunities like parks, beaches, and much more. It even has its own desert. The City of Angels is also considered the home of dreamers, as many people move there to make a name for themselves in the entertainment industry. So if you were ever questioning your place in this world and your life choices, Los Angeles was a place to reinvent yourself and achieve higher goals. It's a place to pursue other careers like acting, writing, and other creative fields while working a 9-to-5 job, like the ever-common waiting job. Also, unlike big cities like New York and San Francisco, living in Los Angeles doesn't feel stressful. If anything, it feels like a vacation, so much so that even Lucifer came there to escape it all. That's probably because of its proximity to a beach and the fact that people generally close from work at reasonable hours as opposed to some cities which turn you into zombies. Not to mention that it has fantastic weather, so that's definitely a plus. So when exactly did Los Angeles become a hotspot for all things awesome? The city began to grow as overlanders poured in from the Midwest and South just after the completion of the Santa Fe Railroad line from Chicago to Los Angeles in 1885. During this period, the city of flowers and sunshine had a strong base in farming, oil, tourism, real estate, and movies. This meant that opportunities were abundant, especially in the movie industry. This opportunity attracted people from far and wide, as many suburban areas grew rapidly both within and outside the city limits. To make Los Angeles even more desirable, New industries began to grow quickly in the city during World War II, particularly high-tech aircraft construction, which resulted in more job opportunities for the city's starving people at the time. As the 1960s rolled in, the city's demographic began to change as more and more foreigners moved in. Today, the city's population sees about 48% as Hispanic or Latino, 28% as white, 15% as Asian, and 9% as African American, making Los Angeles the second most diverse place in the USA. So what went wrong? Why does the city now have such a huge homeless problem after experiencing such massive growth? What led to the fall of the City of Angels? Well, as the 1960s rolled in, Los Angeles began to slow down in its growth and its traffic delays became infamous. Apart from that, old industry started declining and the city's farming, oil, military, and aircraft industries took a massive blow. However, its tourism, entertainment, and high-tech industries remained strong but were not enough to create enough job opportunities for the city's massive populace. As of making this video, there were more than 100,000 unemployed people in Los Angeles and sadly, 
those numbers are expected to grow. Lack of employment ultimately led to poverty and rising crime rates, with about 13.7% of the population being low on income and the city's crime rate growing to 445 violent crimes per 100,000 people and 2013 property crimes per 100,000 people. The number of homeless people in Los Angeles has grown by a whopping 80% in the past few years. This isn't only due to the growth in crime rates and poverty, but also to rising rent and relatively few laws protecting tenants from predatory landlords. Being a national hotspot for tourism and celebrities, it's expected for the city's rent to be a bit steep. But Los Angeles takes this rent raise to a whole new level, so much so that a good number of the population are unable to afford houses for themselves. Sadly, even the few who can fall victim to bad and predatory landlords. Part of the problem comes from a dire housing shortage. There literally isn't enough housing for the people. There is a shortage everywhere in Los Angeles where people actually want to live, and the lack of housing makes the existing housing incredibly expensive. The cost of housing for a one-bedroom apartment is well over $1,500 a month. That's the equivalent of a mortgage payment in a lot of states. For this reason, many people have to have roommates or multiple jobs to pay the rent. Sadly, that also means most people are one job loss injury or severe illness away from being homeless. There have also been a series of budget cuts that have reduced funding for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, which is bound to affect people all over the country, particularly in large cities like Los Angeles. Sadly, this has also taken a toll on people with disabilities as a single disabled person is more likely to be homeless without help. In all of Los Angeles County, the HUD lists are closed and many of them have closed their waiting list and won't open again for at least two years. So any disabled person who isn't already on Section 8 is doomed to be homeless for at least two years unless they can get permanent supportive housing. So although it is known as one of the most desirable places to live, the city does have a lot to do if it is ever going to combat the growing homelessness problem. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Stay safe, stay curious, and check out our other interesting videos.